All right, today we are going to be making a scarf. And this video is actually made for my niece. She saw me making some scarves and beanies with these nifty knitters here. And she really wanted to learn how. She's six years old. And I'm going to make a video that she can go back and watch as she's learning how to do this. So what you need is some yarn. She picked out this pretty pink yarn. You need your loom or nifty knitter, some scissors, a crochet or knitting hook, and then this is the hook that actually comes with it, and this is gonna help you pull your loops over as you're making your scarf. And let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and take your yarn. We're gonna show you how to get started. Now what you need to do first off is make a slip knot. So go ahead and wrap it around your finger here until you have a little loop. And then you're going to pull this tail end through that loop and pull. Make that nice and tight there. You can even make it smaller if you need to just by pulling on it. And you're going to put that just on one of these end pegs here. And now what we're going to do is start our first loop and you're actually going to make almost a letter P. So if you look at it like this, you're gonna go up and make a loop, up and make a loop, almost a letter P. And you're gonna go all the way until about the length you think your scarf should be, or excuse me, the width you think your scarf should be. Mine, I went 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And go ahead and push these guys down, because you're going to need to do a second row. And just remember, when you're doing this, you never want to wrap your pegs super tight, because if you do, it's just going to make it harder when you're getting ready to pull it through. So. On the way back, you're actually going to make a loop that looks like a six. So bring it down and loop around that peg. Bring it down, that's your number six, just like that. Bring it down and loop around that peg. And just keep going until you get to the very end here. And then in order to make it stay, I am pretty quick at this, so I normally just hold it while I'm doing it, but you can loop it around a couple times here and loop it the opposite direction around this side so it will stay. Even if it starts to come loose a little bit, that's okay. Now you can pick whichever loop you want to start on, but I always start on the last one where my tail is. So this peg here, I always do that loop first, because if this gets too much slack and all of these unravel, then I have to go back and loop every single one that can take a long time. It can be kind of frustrating. So go ahead and pull your number one loop over your number two, so that you only have one left on the peg. And you're just going to continue to loop these guys over all the way to the end. And once you get that last guy over, push all of your little yarn down here. And now you're going to start again. You're going to make those loops again. And remember, we're going to do the letter P. So we're going to go up and around, just like that. Another way to look at it is this back yarn here. You want it to be straight in the back and not in the front because if you mix those up, your scarf is going to have a different pattern. It's not going to look as nice. You want it to be streamlined and look the same throughout the whole scarf. And then you can wrap it around this peg here a couple times. 
So you get that to stay, and I, like I said, wherever my tail is, I always start with that one first, pull it over, so that my other guys don't unravel, because if I were to start with this guy down here, that could still unravel all of these. So always start wherever your tail yarn is. Pull those over. Now if you make a mistake and you pull over both sets of the yarn, that's okay. Just pull them right back on and remember you can always start over if you have to. You can always go back down one row if you have to. It's never all is lost. So if you need to watch this video again, feel free to do so. If you have any questions or comments, please post them and I will try to get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you. Now while you're making your scarf, just keep in mind the length that you want your scarf to be. So if, if it's going to be for you, you might want to measure it. Um, you'll want it to probably go around your neck and both sides come about to your hips. If you want to wrap it around your neck once, you don't want it to be so short that it doesn't quite lay right. Um, so go ahead and give that a try. Um, and if you're making it for someone that you're not sure how long to make it, try to find someone that might be close to their body size um, and use your best judgment. Okay, now that we have our scarf the size that we need, we're going to finish our project. So what you need now is just a knitting hook and you're going to actually take the opposite end from your tail. So we're going to start down here. Take your number one loop, put it on your hook. Take your number two loop and put it on your hook. And keep in mind you do want to be on singles. You, you don't want to have your double layer going at this point. All right, so now I have number one and number two, and I'm actually just going to pull number two right through number one. So there's that. Now I'm gonna put number three on my hook. And now you wanna pull number three through new, number two. And you're going to keep doing that all the way to the end, okay? Okay, now that we're on our last one here, you put your final loop on, pull that through, and this is your tail end, and you just wanna do one more loop through. Now we're actually going to kinda of pull the loop so that all of this gets a little bit tight in here, and then we're going to knot it, And then you're gonna just pull your tail through. And then you can just weave it back through your little loops here so that it kind of disappears within the scarf. And just remember, the more you do this, the better you will get. And that's it. You are done. And your scarf is complete. Thank you for watching.